A few weeks ago, we tried opening our archaeological mystery box in two hours. But when it comes to real archaeological discoveries, it may take a few decades. A royal tomb found in Xi'an about 20 years ago was recently identified as the mausoleum of Emperor Wen of the Han Dynasty. It had been mistaken as the tomb of Princess Guan Tao, daughter of Emperor Wen. The emperor's resting place was for centuries thought to be at the Phoenix Mouth Mountain, two kilometers away. Dating back to the era of Emperor Qian Long in the Qing Dynasty, there was even a stone monument created by the governor of Shanxi province, reading Ba Ling of Emperor Wen. How could they make such a big mistake? Because Phoenix Mouth Mountain looks like a tomb with a huge towering mound made for a departed emperor. However, Emperor Wen's Ba Ling is the only tomb without any mound among the 11 emperors of the Western Han Dynasty. Emperor Wen or Liu Heng is dubbed one of the thriftiest emperors in ancient China's history. He wore straw sandals and his imperial robe had been sewn and mended for many times. He made it clear that his funeral should be simple and there would be no mound for his tomb as there was already a mountain. Some had thought it was a sort of propaganda, but the identification of Baling finally confirms the truth. There is no mound for the tomb which contains only pottery and other items. An archaeologist at the site said jerkily that it was so difficult to find a relic with ornamental value in the tomb. Well, it was Liu Heng, such a thrifty emperor, who started the rule of Wen and Jing, the first period of generous stability and prosperity during China's imperial years. The discovery of Baling also reminds us that Although Chinese civilization has a distant origin and a long history, there might be mistakes in historical records. However, seeing is believing. This year marks the 100th anniversary of China's modern archaeology. We hope to unearth more lively stories from the underworld in the future. I'm Jingjia. See you next time.